Good morning, people of Great Britain. It's at times like these that you wish that you could articulate yourself as well as some of the uh, famous kings and politicians in history that could come up with fantastic speeches that would inspire their country. Uh, I don't know whether I'm capable of doing that. All I know is what I am capable of doing is saying to you people out there, you are becoming so aware now. The goalposts, as uh, one way of saying it, have been moved. It's gone from people being very ignorant of what, what has been going on to being really quite aware that this country is actually falling by the wayside. It's been taken over by Islam. The government are screwing us left, right, and, right and centre. Uh, I won't say anything about the Queen because I don't know what the Queen's got up to and a lot of you still don't on the Queen. I have my reservations due to the globalist aspect, but if you love the Queen, that's, that's fine by me at least. At least. Well, it's not being British because they're German, but... We have got to start... No, not start. We've, we've gone past needing to start. We need to actually be acting constantly against what's going on. There was great news yesterday. Uh, the night before last, I think it was, um, somebody put up a copy and paste of a message that was sent to Tommy Robinson and on this message it was from Haroon Hussain who is a uh, snooker hall owner in Blackburn and he said I can't quote it exactly probably but it says I can't wait until we've killed all you whites bring on the bombs and he sent this to Tommy Normally, you don't just get ignored. But on our Facebook groups between us, I put it on all my Facebook groups and I asked people to report him. I reported him. And this morning, we found out uh, from a Tommy Live video that this man has now been arrested. Tommy's had to go to the police station to give a statement. If he, he probably doesn't thank us for that, because he's probably seen an upper police station. But they finally headed in the right direction. And why is that? It's called people power. They knew, with that many people reporting, that there was likely to be a physical backlash by us if the police didn't do something. The next thing that will be interesting to hear will be what happens to him. I'm guessing he won't get prison. Not like the poor guy that put bacon outside of a mosque. Um, I can't remember his first name, I do apologise to him because he's now deceased. But his surname was Kriam. And he was put into a prison full of Muslims and he was killed and the government are trying to cover it up they won't tell anybody anything about it but I don't think you need to use too much imagination to realise who killed him and that poor guy was guilty as somebody else said from Liberty GB of doing something a bit spiteful a bit nasty but nothing actually criminal and certainly nothing that would need a custodial sentence or even to be held on remand it's absolutely ludicrous and this is what our country is coming to now that guy is no longer on this earth his family have lost him forever and that's at the hands of our British government again I say it every time I'm not Conservative, I'm not Labour, I'm not Liberal. If anything, I would be UKIP if they were stronger in general and, and led by Nigel Farage rather than Paul Nuttall, if I'm perfectly honest. But we need a people's government and 
the only way that will ever happen is by people power. And that means you guys having the guts to do what you did the other day. You were strong. You stuck together. Okay. I've got to say this. It was a little bit easier because it was only at the end of a keyboard. But there's going to be times when you've got to go out there and put your body on the line. Nobody wants to risk injury. Nobody wants to risk dying, particularly. But if the alternative is living under Islamic Sharia law, then you might as well be dead anyway. Because they're going to kill you unless you cave in and call yourself Ibrahim Ali Baba, Billy Boss Bashus, or something like that. I don't know, I don't know what they'll call themselves. And they're ridiculous names they come up with. How the hell they call each other for dinner or something? Mohammed? 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 Ridiculous. I digress, as per flipping usual. Back to people power. It's come to everybody's attention. I found it from some friends that I'm in a group with. Not which is why we're within, which is the one which I run. Like that, see? Ta -da! Lovely powder blue, you can't beat it. Um, they found that in the English Constitution, which a lot of people don't realise we still have, it's the Constitution that means we are run under common law, or should be. And uh, over the years, they tried all these acts all these statutes to stop us from defending ourselves or having weapons. Some people have weapons because they're absolute nutters, so that's fair enough. But we are still under the constitution. Stop trying to compete with the cockatiels. Oh god, he's driving me mad. We are still allowed under the British constitution to bear arms to defend ourselves and our country. And what better time is there to defend ourselves and our country than an Islamic invasion of our country? Uh, I, I saw another bit that was put on by uh, somebody with a legal background. I don't know, they may have been a solicitor, I, I'm not sure. Um, but I just caught the end of the conversation. And they was advising that yes, this is true, but it needs something between 8 and 10 million people to invoke this to happen. If one person says, I want the right to bear arms, basically you get fucked off. But if 8 or 10 million people, I would have thought petition would be the best way to do it, then it is my understanding that they would have to allow us to bear arms, to protect ourselves, not to protect, to defend ourselves and our country. It's a very old thing, but then again, so are most of our laws that we have to abide by. Well, it's not, it's actually only four, four laws that we're supposed to abide, abide by. All these statutes and acts that they have brought in, they're actually, if you're willing to push it to the nth degree, they're unenforceable. Because there is only common law. That is, shan't do harm to others, won't steal, won't commit fraud, and there's always, oh, yeah, um, will not commit a breach of the peace. That was the one that they used then to cover a multitude of sins, I'm sure. But uh, that's not many actual laws that we have to follow, is it, really? So think about it. Think about what you're doing with your life. Think about how angry you're getting at what's going on around you. Think how angry I'm getting at this parrot keep whistling over the top of me. And decide to do something about it. I will again encourage every single one of you to, in, to join BritishWarriorWithin.com or a similar group. It doesn't really matter who you're joining but we mustn't try and start bringing these groups together there's nothing wrong with say 
10 largest groups but there's a lot wrong with thousands of tiny little ones because that is unworkable um, there's definitely strength in numbers we've had or I've had an absolute influx of membership requests in the last 10 days and it's been fantastic obviously um, it's actually a knock-on effect from the Manchester murders and I'm really pleased those people have joined us please come and join us uh, our aim is to protect our community it is to be able to back up the military in case of a civil stroke religious war if we get to bear arms then we fare far better but in the meantime if you seriously think about getting yourself a crossbow and other legal items that you can keep in your house you won't be able to take them out um, the restrictions are ridiculous and the restrictions are there to stop the people ever rebelling against the government it's not to protect other citizens because it's a known fact that especially in America although I hate to say it because at one point I was sort of oh, blinking guns um, but crime statistics go down massively when a state allows its citizens to have guns at home some states banned it crime rate went through the roof I think it was Washington um, and then they said right okay no you can have guns again and these cowards that break into your homes etc murderers rapists who does that sound like um, no don't touch the telly because you will do things with it you've done it haven't you bloody bird I don't know what he's done now I hope that I'm still on Yes, I am. Just about. Yeah, and the crime rate, rates, the crime rates go down massively. So you have the right to defend yourself, whatever. Reasonable force. Um. Sorry, I my computer's going mad thanks to my bird at the moment. So I've lost the plot a little at the moment. What else can we do? I think the biggest thing is get other people informed. I keep harping on about this, but talk to other people that are either ignorant of the facts, head in the sand about the facts, or change the mind of people who are the thick, bastard, liberal twats. Show them facts. Go onto the internet. Find beheadings. Find children with hung in their cellars by Islamic. No, they're not terrorists. There's, there's no such thing as a terrorist. It is just a person who's decided they're going to kill other people and they give it a label. I've seen children hung in their cellars, little toddlers. It's been hard to watch because you have to watch these things to form the opinions that you've got. Don't form my opinion out of just, I'm British and we're the best and I hate everybody. I, I don't think like that. I, I never really have done. But what they are doing around this world is destroying it they're bringing this world to what is going to be um, I don't know, don't know if it would be a world war or not because nobody's standing up against them at the moment it's just going to be a walkover but in Britain we're better than that you're better than that we know we are we've got a proud heritage proud heritage of being warriors Hence the name of BritishWarriorWithin.com 
we have all got a warrior with it inside of us. I'm not so sure about these liberals. I don't think there's a warrior hiding in there somehow. But you never know. Perhaps when they're right. I need to go and get my teeth fixed because I can't speak. I wonder how they will feel when their wife is gang raped and their children hung in front of them. What will they say then? Doesn't really matter because it's too late. But it's a job that we can do. Biggest job we've got on our hands is to descend on the government to show them that we are not taking the way you are governing us anymore. You have let us down. You've left us, left us open to attack. You've left us open to being murdered. You've left poor girls open to being raped, children to being raped. You have not protected your citizens one iota. Hey, I've said all that before and I will say it every bloody time. Because it is the most important thing. We have been let down and we've got to respond. I'm sorry I seem a bit subdued. I mean, loads of pain. Can we have a big R? No? No, I heard you. I heard you say fuck off, you big fairy. And no need for that, wasn't it? Yeah, just a little subdued anyway. But that's solely because of a pain, not because of a lack of passion. So come on, you people. Join BritishWarriorWithin.com That's the least you can do. And get up to the Justice for Chelsea march. We need 30, 40,000 up there. That's what we need. And don't make an excuse Sunderland's too far. Could be much further away from me. I can assure you. Not looking forward to the drive. But it's got to be done. Because justice has to be seen to be done. And it hasn't been. Just hope my leg's alright by then. Because I'll be so pissed off if I can't get up now. Okay, I'm rambling the gang now. So I'll let you guys get on. Thank you for watching my videos. I appreciate it very much. If I get any new information on anything... I will let you know. Oh! Did I mention that the guy? Yeah, I did, didn't I? Yeah, it's alright. Losing the plot as well. I haven't even taken the painkillers yet, so can't do that. So join BritishWarriorWithin.com or any other group that you think will suit you. Get yourself tooled up, as they say. Because you will need protection. You need to protect your home. Um, just don't forget. Don't start taking the stuff outside. Some things you can't even use in your back garden if it's within 100 yards or feet of a public pathway. So just go very careful. Just make sure it's just there in case of civil unrest, civil war, absolute violence breaking out and you are under threat. So there's a little bit of advice, take it or leave it, um, and I will speak to you again, probably tomorrow, because I can't help it, I, we, we, we've got to win this, but I, I, I am not going to live under Islam, I'm sorry, fuck them, see you later.